Here's what I think of a poem. If I haven't changed by the time I've finished writing it, the poem hasn't finished. This is Sunil Bhandari and you are listening to Uncut Poetry. Heartbreak. Emptiness sounds like the hush of your heart stopping when I told you I'm leaving. And I have never heard the sound of anguish in a silence like yours. In the particularity of heartbreak was the vastness of pain. There is death we all move towards, but I know you held your death in your own sight. I leave you as a book with a tattered cover, every poem in it now bleeding onto your fingers. The knowingness which refused to fade, every feeling you called your own, now a stranger. You will seek other beds and alien alleys and make yourself lonelier with every journey as you dream of me in the false dawn of other arms, not knowing me as someone with a lonely soul. Will you understand if I ever tell you that I still love you but as a traveller and we were now at a journey's end, we were the valley but the mountains now mine to climb. No, you were not an etch on an ego and I take away your love as a glow, the one which burns surely as the memory of the eternal flame. I will look in tenderly when I'll think of you, not as a comet in a darkening sky, but a star with no dark drops, which burns as a constellation by itself. Now my love, be my sheltering sky, the one which looks out for me. We could be lost lovers, gnawing at a past, or we could be each other's thought, just a wish apart. We could be lost lovers, gnawing at a past, or we could be each other's thought, just a wish apart. Every relationship is a journey, where it starts is in a fuzzy past, but equally amorphous is how it ends. Because endings are never surgical cuts, but a bunch of tassels, each thread a possible way out or way in. And that's what reality is. Because people change, how we feel changes, what we feel changes. And just like a poem never ends but finds eternity in the heart of its reader, love changes form and finds a cozy nook to reside. It moves to find meaning in life which might have everything to do with love, but nothing to do with a love affair. And that's how life takes us in its palm, often with someone, often without. But there's always the walking, the movement, the bliss, the ecstasy, the pain, the anguish, the residue, the remembrance. It's the cross life bears and is its saddest but most sublime benediction. This is Sunil Bhandari and you were listening to Uncut Poetry. Did you enjoy what you heard? Talk about it. Share it with someone you love. Did you know that Uncut Poetry has started another podcast called Uncut Poetry Presents Red River Sessions. In Red River Sessions, you get to meet new poets every fortnight and we talk about their craft, their art and their life. You can find Red River Sessions on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts or anywhere you get your podcasts from. See you next week.